What's going on everyone? Welcome back on Vlog Gems. Today we want to talk about Nifty Gateway Open Editions, in particular the most recent ones. And if you enjoy this kind of content, please remember to subscribe to the channel and turn that notification bell on and turn also the like button blue. So uh, I wanted to address uh, uh, one question that I have been getting more often recently about if it is profitable or not to flip open editions, uh, basically buying open editions during the exhibition, when the exhibition is open, and then waiting for the exhibition to close and just raise the price tag in, in the hopes to turn a profit. This could happen immediately after the exhibition closes or even in the next few days. This is a, uh, a strategy that is discussed uh, everywhere in the Discord or uh, even uh, in uh, other places uh, and there are also YouTubers that uh, discuss strategies about how to do this uh, in the best possible way. And one of the things that I've heard that I've heard recently and that was the, also one of the motivations for this video is that it's okay to just get an exposure to uh, many artists and uh, take as much as exposure uh, uh, as, as possible, or so, as much exposure as you're comfortable with, with open editions, because by and large, they tend to go higher in price. And I totally disagree with this. And so I, uh, what I did for you guys is to collect some information about all the open editions that took place uh, from Sunday to Sunday, so from last Sunday to the one before. Uh, and basically I look at the prices that were on the original listing. This is just an example. So for instance, this is the price that this open edition was listed for. This is the price that it last sold for. And I calcul calculated the net returns. So I cannot share the data, of course, because this is not my data, but I've done the homework uh, on the uh, all the 57 open editions that took place during that week, from Sunday to Sunday included. And I wanted to see if the net returns were positive. Basically, if you bought the entire basket of open editions, trying to turn a profit in the next few days, would you make money or not? This is the kind of question I'm trying to answer here. And the answer is that you get an ROI of 3.5% max, say, 3.3, 3.4, 3.5 to really stretch it. And another way to interpret this data is that basically whenever you buy any open edition, you're doing just a tiny bit better than a coin flip. This is another way to read this result. That every time you buy any random open edition without any research, just... Uh, you know, spray and pray, just buying anything that, that comes on the website, um, you get the, uh, the 50, a, bit, a little bit more than 50% chance of making a profit and a little bit less than 50% uh, 50 chance of making a loss. There's also the problem of uh, variance, meaning that the level of volatility that you will have with any single bet is extreme because there is a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, differences between one artist and the other in terms of returns that you can make. And uh, if you wanted to buy all the 57 open editions that took place last week, you would have needed around $76,000. So I think that this kind of returns for the kind of money that you need to put in and the kind of risk you're taking, which is the most important thing to, to state in this context, is it's a lot of risk. It's too much risk for, for the kind of appetite I have. Maybe it justifies your, your uh, investment strategy, but I doubt it because I think it's, it's so much risk for the kind of money you're expected to make. And this is not even the full, um, you know, the, the fair um, comparison because... This number here, this 3.5% returns, this 3.4% returns, assumes that you will be able to make the sale. Because as I mentioned before, I, I used the, the last transaction price. 
but we know that these assets are not as liquid as we would like them to be. You, can, you don't find a buyer the moment you put something up for sale. It just, just doesn't work that way. And this lack of liquidity is an additional risk you're putting into the mix. So is it really justified? And uh, I, I'm stating this, guys, because I've heard way too many times that just buy, you know, just buy a broad basket of open editions because in general, they will tend to do fine the next days. This is not the case when you look at the data. Just do your homework, uh, look at, take one week of the last ones and analyze the open editions that took place and see if on average you will be doing fine or not. But average are, averages are dangerous tools. Why? Because if you just look at the average, uh, you, you are missing the fact that there is a lot of variance, that there is a, a lot of volatility that takes place and uh, you uh, might not be buying the one that performs, uh, the, the open edition that performs like the average open editions. This is not something that you can give for granted. Your uh, particular item, the item that you bought, the open editions that you uh, decided to buy that week might might perform drastically uh, lower, um, much worse basically than average or even much better if you're lucky. But this, you know, this amount of standard deviation technically is what can kill you. And if you think that the vast majority of people do not have tens of thousands of dollars to invest into uh, NFTs, but if lucky, they start with a few thousands, if lucky, then it just takes four or five blows that go wrong to get you killed. So I really disagree with this common statement that uh, just buy a few, uh, a few open editions because on average they will tend to do fine in the following week or in the following weeks. This is not what is happening lately. For previous weeks it has been different, but the market also was different. So uh, I just wanted to, uh, you know, to, to help you out as usual. And if this uh, video helped you, if this video was of any sort of use to you, please rem remember to subscribe to the channel and hit the like button. Till the next one.